lesson 45, ratio problems involving totals. Here in the picture here, you can see I have a ratio box there with totals here. And so this is just a review of what you've done, you may have done before using ratio boxes. Um, so we're just going to be reviewing that for today's lesson. So ratio problem review. Ratios are just proportions. And remember, proportions are usually written as fractions. And they can be set up with ratio boxes, or you can just use proportions and use the cross products um, method. But today, we just want to use the ratio box. And when you use the ratio box with totals, you're going to set it up with six boxes here. And you have your variables here, whatever you're trying to find with your total on the bottom. And then your first column is going to be the ratio. And the second column is actually the actual count that's found in the, in the problem. So let's look at an example. Acrobats and clowns converged on the center ring in the ratio of 3 to 5. So that's our ratio. If a total of 24 acrobats and clowns performed in the center ring, how many were clowns? So you have acrobats and clowns. So keep that order because the ratio was 3 to 5. 3 acrobats to 5 clowns. That's a total. For the total, I just add the, the two ratio numbers. 3 plus 5 gives me 8. And it says if a total of 24 acrobats and clowns, so that's the total of actual count. I put that into the total. How many were clowns? So I need to find C for clowns. So all I need to do for this one is just take my two, these bottom two boxes here, and solve. And we can solve this by using cross products. For this one, I would use um, because I know there's a relationship between 8 and 24, I know 8 times 3 gives me 24. So I can multiply the numerator by 3 also to give me C. And 5 times 3 would give me 15. So I would have 15 clowns. And then if we were to ask how many were acrobats, I could do 24 minus 15, and that would give me 9. The second one here, a bus company has small and large buses in the ratio of 2 to 7. So small is 2, 7 is the large buses. That's a total of 9 buses. If the company has 84 large buses, a total of 84 large buses, how many buses does it have? So I need to find the total. And so we can, we're just going to be using the bottom, the bottom parts. So let's just see, is there a relationship between 84 and 7? There is. 7 times 12 gives you 84. So we would have 9 times 12. That would give us our total, which is 108 buses. If you didn't want to do it that method, you could have done cross products. So it would have been 7 times t equals 84 times 9, and then solve for t. But sometimes the other method is a little bit quicker and easier to do. Look at a couple other ones here. The ratio of boys to girls at the assembly was 5 to 4. If there were 180 students at the assembly, how many girls were there? Explain why your choice, your answer is reasonable. Now, when I set up my ratio boxes, I keep the order that they have it in. So boys to girls. So I wrote it boys to girls here with the total on the bottom. So if they said boys to girls was five boys to four girls, that's a total in the ratio of nine. If there were 180 students in the assembly, that's the total, 180 here. How many girls were there? So I'm going to put G here for girls. Okay, I'm only looking at the bottom four. I know that 9 times 20 gives me 180. So that means I can multiply 4 times 20 to give me the number of girls, which would be 80. That would leave the number of boys to be 100. 
And why would that be, why would that be uh, reasonable? Well, five, uh, four to nine, that's just under half. Or a little bit more than, a little bit more than, uh, well, four is less than half of nine. So 80 is just under half of 180, because 108, half of 180 would be 90. So 80 is just under 90. On the other one here, the coin jar was filled with pennies and nickels in the ratio of seven to two. So seven pennies, two nickels. If there were 28 nickels in the jar, how many coins were there? So we need to find the total. Seven plus two is nine. So I need to find the total. I know two times 14 gives me 28. So nine times 14 gives me the total. 14 times nine equals 126. So there'd be 126 total coins. On our last slide here, the ratio of football players to soccer players at the park was five to seven. So five football, seven to soccer, total of 12 in the ratio, but the total number of players was 48. How many were football players? So we need to find F. So I'm looking at five to 12 as F is to 48. I know that 12 times 4 gives me 48. So I know that 5 times 4 would give me an F, which would give me 20. And if you wanted to solve for how many soccer players there would be, I would still multiply this by 4. And that would give me an answer of 28. 20 plus 28 is 48. But our answer to this problem would be 20. And the last one here is setting up proportions. So the ratio of football players to soccer players was five to seven. So this is the same same player. So if you were to do the ratio boxes, but you're going to set up proportions, you would set it up as five is to 12 as um, football players is to 48. Now you notice I didn't have 12 in here. You need to know if you're setting up proportions that there's a total of 12 in the ratio, okay? And then you just saw it the same way that we just did over here. 12 times four gives you 48. Five times four gives you F, which is 20. That is our lesson on using ratio boxes.